Greetings from the Sunshine State. Well, I still have plenty of leftover paints, and this is one of those days when I just can't narrow down what I want to do with them. But I thought I'll just take the plunge and go with the flow and see what happens. So now I'm thinking of doing a gradient background and then pouring these colors into the shovel and I have this comb attached and I'll see what type of pattern I get. So I'm just gonna have fun. We'll see what happens.
you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. I really love the color in the middle against the lighter colors in the background, but I had too much paint at the beginning and end, so I was trying to tilt off some of that paint without distorting the middle, but it was pretty difficult. I didn't want the middle part to move, so I struggled with it for a while. determined to thin out that glob of paint, I tried everything, swiping, using a comb, but uh, if I had waited for the gradient layer to dry and then it applied uh, a varnish over it, then I could have just wiped off that excess paint from the pour, but if I wiped it now, it probably would have smudged everything. Live and learn.
I even pulled out the air gun to try to thin out the paint by doing some feathering. Then I thought, well, maybe I'll try some finger flicks. I was just splattering paint all over the room. So I decided to start over. I decided to pour a lot less paint at the beginning and end and it worked out much better although I prefer the original gradient background to this one but it still worked all right now it has a softer coral color paint left in the shovel and for some reason I decided to add more to that end. Now the embellishing begins. I didn't get all of it on video because I wasted the battery and all and on painting the gradient defects. So it ran out before I could finish 
my embellishments, but you get an idea of what I was doing. Here's a close-up. I really like the final results and there must have been some satin enamels or Vallejo Pro Medium in the white to create those puffy effects. But I love the colors. Unusual for me not to use any blues. I was afraid this would crack because as you can see the paint is looks kind of thick sitting on the surface but it didn't crack at all and i'll show you the dry results shortly and here are the dry results no cracking so let me know what you think in the comment section below that's it for today have a good day thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe below